I'm going to show you how to align a palm bearing into a gear using a tool that you probably already have. This is a wheel shaft checker, normally to check for the straightness of steel shafts. So you basically take the top off like this, and you run the shaft through, and if it goes completely through, then it's straight. This one doesn't happen to be straight. So what you need to do is bend it a little so that it will be straight. So you lean it on the edge of a flat surface, a completely flat surface like your iPhone, for example, or your Android phone. And then you check underneath the shaft to see if there's a bend. And then you basically work on unbending it from that point. So I actually see physically it's, it's bending lower on this side here. So I see it visually on this point. If I can see it visually, then I can most definitely see it right on a flat surface such as a phone. So here's another shaft, and let's see if this goes through. This one goes completely through, so this one's straight. Reasonably straight. So we want reasonably straight shafts on our axles. These happen to be 72 millimeter shafts, so they're longer than, they're good for pierced wheels. But typically when you get shafts with box stock kits, they are typically 60 millimeters. So you wanna use 60 millimeter shafts for box stock. 72, you can do pierced wheels uh, depending on the race that allows for them. So another thing you can use this wheel shaft checker for is also to make sure that your palm bearing gets inserted into your 3.5 or 3.7 to 1 gear ratio gear properly. So what you do is you take the end of this. So you remove this part here and you have what's left this tip and you insert it into, so you, you basically place the palm with the tree attachment on the inside. So make sure you trim enough of that so that it's flat. And then you basically flip it inside so that the tree attachment part is not facing outward. So then you push this onto the palm. So then you take this, you run it in like this, and you push gently, and that makes sure that the palm is flat against the bottom part, the well part of the gear. So now it's in place, and now you can use your oil pen and lubricate both ends from the top and on the bottom. So then you thread the gear shaft through like so, and you place it between your fingers and you run, run it like this, and it should spin freely. And if it does, like it's doing now, then we're ready to insert it into the car. So here, you wanna make sure that you insert this into the hole. So what I would suggest is you lubricate this hole right here where the gear shaft goes into. That way it slides in easier. And also, you can lubricate this notch right here. And then, insert this into the hole. Now if you're doing tune class, you can actually add a bearing roller spacer and a metal bearing, but this is box stock, so you want to make sure that you just use the parts that are included in the kit. So, let's see, where is this hole? Let me put my glasses on so I can see better. Good. And here we go. There we go. There, it just snapped in place. So you make sure that everything's proper by rolling this forward and you see that, yes, the gear moves and it stays in place, right? So now I used grease right on this yellow counter gear here and now it's lubricating the blue gear. And if you want, you can use a little more grease too. Can you have too much grease? Yes but I feel that a very thin layer, such that it seeps into the actual spaces, is a good thing. Especially if this is a brand new, unlubricated gear. So here I'm just rolling it slowly, just making sure that every slot in the gear is covered with grease.
There we go. Cap this back up. And now we can place the gear cover on. So here's the screw hole right here. That should always be in line with the screw hole right here. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, oh yeah, this is hard, all these little parts. If I can do it with long nails, then you can do it too. So here we go, it snaps in place. Yeah. Fluorescent colored ABS parts, especially the yellow colored parts, are a lot more fragile than any other colored parts. So you have to be especially careful when using them because they don't last a long time. So Neon Vicky, my very first open class car, used a lot of yellow ABS parts. That was what was in the Japan Cup 2020 kit. So what I like to do is, when I'm threading the screw, I do clockwise motions three to five times, and then I rewind out. And then three more turns, rewind out. Three more turns, rewind out. And what this enables me to do is to ensure that I don't strip the screw hole. And you can also add a little drop of oil into the screw hole also, so that it becomes easier to thread the screw into the screw hole. You can try that too. So here we go, we have a nice nice thing right here. And yeah, we have a gear that has a perfectly aligned palm bearing. And yeah, we're ready to continue building this. So yes, everybody, that's how you align a palm bearing into a gear using a tool such as a wheel shaft checker. If you like this video, everybody, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you, bye.